Retro Review episode 69. <laughs> 69. Oh. This is going to be fun. This is going to be really stupid. Tonight we are reviewing The Twilight Saga Breaking Dawn Part 1. <laughs> Indeed we are. Yeah. But first things first. Yes. Shout out to our Patreon supporters. $5 a month gets you early access. $10 a month gives us access to your blood. Oh. oh, just kidding. It's just viewing parties. Second thing, second, shout out to our blood sponsor, Wink. Of That's course. The, it's the end of the jokes. No, it's not. Let's, let's be honest. <laughs> Go to trywink.com slash moviebitches. You get $22 off your first month of wine. I said wine, not blood. Just going to dig into this. <laughs> mm. Mm, type O. <laughs> that, you took my joke. Oh. Ah. Were you going for O too? Yeah, I was going to. Yeah, it's and the universal, it's, you know, blood. So anybody. It's can... also Bella's. That's true. It is. Oh, maybe that's why. Because isn't O sort of rare? Oh, maybe it wasn't Bella's. Maybe he had it for Bella because it was O negative, and so it was. No, didn't... that would mean it was hers. No, if it's O negative, it's the universal donor. So oh. she could have been any oh, type. Got it. He didn't have to know. Got it. And he just said, that's "Oh, I true. got a bunch of O negative." Just in, in case, case you know, yeah. she gets thrown onto a table and bleeds out again when we need to give her a transfusion. Right. Right. I think that was what was happening. Probably. He just keeps it on, on stash, although he got to keep that under lock and key. Right. With everyone bloodthirsty around. How's he going to keep a passcode away from Edward? Right. Oh, he's going to hear it. Oh, no. Wow. I never thought about that. Yeah. God, Bella has it made, because otherwise, rough. I guess that's the whole point of this, right? That's why he's in love with her. Yeah. He's waited 100 years to not have to hear someone else's thoughts. That would be a nightmare. A nightmare. An abject nightmare. Yeah. Oh, wait. But third thing's third, make sure to subscribe, share, oh, follow us on Instagram and Twitter. I don't know, I'm just doing weird vampire things now. You're being bloody stupid. Oh, Nadia. I agree with the werewolf slut. Thank you. I mean, we've talked about it enough, so I decided I had to dress up like Nadia from, from what we do in the shadows. Now, if only we had a doll that looked exactly like you. <laughs> that also talked and was super creepy, but also fabulous and not creepy at all. It's great. It's yeah. the best thing on TV. It really is. And I made Andrew dressed up like Lestat, even though he has no idea who that is. No idea. I'm going to seduce Brad Pitt. I'm mm. so pensive. Mm. So, The Twilight Saga, Breaking Dawn, part one, directed by Bill Condon. Wow. Maybe he did the best with what he had. I mean, I'll be honest. At this point, sure. when reading these later books, okay. I started to lose the faith. Oh, wow. Okay. So, the first book came out when? I don't know. But okay. I read them all before they started filming the first. Gotcha. So you had movie. read the fourth one and said, wow, this got a little stupid. I just didn't know if the books were coming out after the movie. You know, like very Harry Potter of it yeah. all? Yeah. Gosh, I think I read them all before the movies. But okay. I could oh be God. wrong slightly. But yeah. Um, yeah. I think okay. I could be wrong. But I, I distinctly remember that this was the book when I went, oh, no. <laughs> This went um, to a place I didn't like. A goofy nonsense place. Well, in the books, it's a little more, you know, because like there aren't the talking no... wolves or a metaphor, or, you know, like, right. oh, sure, they're talking, whatever. In their head, right. It's not, oh, it's wow, not this looks absolutely quite as asinine. <laughs> Won't be able to control his thirst. Every human will be in danger. We're ready. <laughs> <laughs> There were some turns that happened in this one that, yes, I um, went, oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Maybe that's the writing. Maybe it's a little bit of phoning it in at this point, right? People are over it that have been working on the now the fourth and then fifth films. It was so long. Yeah, it is, yeah. yeah and, and we were shooting it forever. The problem is, so Stephanie Meyer doesn't know how to kill her darlings. Mm. She wrote another book that I loved at the time called The Host. Okay. Which was like about an alien who comes, it's kind of body snatchers. Oh. But then she sort of sides with the humans and she's stuck in this body and she doesn't. Oh, I feel like you've talked to me she about She doesn't this? fully know. You know, she's not there to kill everybody or whatever. She kind of joins them. She falls in love with somebody, of course. Of course. Of course. What's happening? Don't I'm, do that. No, don't do that. Don't do, don't do that. Don't, you sound like Laura Linney. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that, my darling. 
And anyway, great first book. Fucking loved it. It's all hap- It's kind of impossible to translate to screen, and the movie is mm. god awful. A lot of internal monologue because the girl that whose body she takes over can talk, but oh, also boy. the alien that's in the and they're both talking. And of course, then they both fall in love with different different guys. Oh, oh, oh are you team? I don't remember their name. So and so or team so and so. But I remember loving it. And okay. she never finished fucking writing the trilogy. She what? set up because she said I'd have to kill off characters that I loved and I just couldn't do it. And she still, she never wrote it. That's like um, the opposite of that horrible, not Claudia Schiffer, who was it? The model? Yeah, the, that horrible Netflix movie that we watched. The castle one with Brooke Shields? Brooke Shields. <laughs> right, kill them off. Right. And then everyone's like, no, how dare you? And then she had to run away to a castle. Yeah, exactly. So, um, so maybe that's what she was afraid of. Yes, maybe that was what it was. But what I would say is she tries to have it all. She can't right. quite make it a gothic tragic romance. It has to work out. Right. It has to be just so, oh, everything's pieced together so methodically. It's almost boring. It is almost boring. You know, like in the last one, oh, we have to sit out of the fight because we're so in love and our love is so fucking important that everyone right. else needs to risk their lives except for us except because for us. we'll die without each other. You guys. Then at least die for each Dora other. Or die for, exactly. Exactly. So. Or be willing to. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They're just willing to kill, e- kill themselves over each other, but not necessarily. Like, why isn't Edward like, no, I can't let my family die right. for me for, I'm not for my die girlfriend for no fuck it was a that. big dilemma in the book because i didn't enjoy it I yeah was like, yeah what not but cute. anyway so that's the sense i i get and you'll see more in the next movie oh boy okay having her cake and eating it too mm. where you don't have steaks right there were there were not i mean i guess there were but you knew that it wasn't going to go there did you ever think spoiler alert bella was gonna die no yeah exactly <laughs> I mean, do you ever in any of these kind of things think that anyway? But they're usually not drawn out so long. They really, it was the, it was the abyss at the end of this. Oh, Come yeah. on, you can make it. Come on. Oh, my God. <gasps> Clear. They only needed that, right? Where's yeah. the defibrillator? Exactly. Yeah. I don't know if uh, Edward's trained in, in de- CPR de- and defibrillation. defibrillation. I think it's on the box. So there you go. But anyway, yes. Breaking Dawn, part one. Yes. The dramatic... First part conclusion, where mainly it's... It's a wedding movie for the wedding, first 40 minutes. Wedding honeymoon. What just fell? My tie? My ribbon? Is that why everything keeps feeling like it's falling forward? My ribbon? <laughs> just leave it. No, because it's... Oh, no! Oh, oh, no! <laughs> oh, oh, no! So yeah, it's mostly a, a wedding movie. Right, well, it's, for the first it's, bit, yeah. It's say yes to the dress for the first little bit. Um, How can I wear these heels? I won't. But we're not going to kind of show it in any sort of No, they didn't show way. it like, oh, here's a thing, like, oh, Edward. Or, or like, oh, she's him being like, why do you have to wear these shoes if they're uncomfortable? You should be who you are. Right. Wear your converse, you know, or whatever the fuck. Yeah. Be quirky. That's why I love you, supposedly. <laughs> I don't know. I love you for you, Bella. Right? I can't read your mind. Tell me what you want. Tell Use me your what you words. Want. You are my reason for existence. Ugh. Wear whatever goddamn shoes you want. Yeah, right? We weren't natural enemies. And you weren't trying to steal my reason for existing. I might actually like you. Reason for existence. Wow. It's tough. It's a lot of pressure. That's a lot. Um, um, yeah. yeah. So yes, this wedding was a big deal. Uh, Stephanie Meyer showed up in person. I was, I was convinced that Stephanie was convinced she was Bella. And when, especially when she says oh, it was based on a dream, and it's like, oh, I've, met, I've had this dream about this really sexy guy, and she just writes this book about it. It's like, this woman is mad. The dress was a big deal. In hindsight, I hate it. I hate it. The back is pretty, slutty, but pretty. <laughs> Um, it's pretty slutty. The, yeah, the front is just a, a Well, it's a no. um, Carolina Herrera designed oh. it. She's like a famous designer. I'm sure. Of chic things. Oh, great. It's like a totally important designer. And the Harlequin two-toned yeah. situation. And then they the... should have gotten Mondo to do it. 
It's so pathetic. Um, but yeah, the super slutty lacy back yeah. and um, it was a no. But you know, whatever. I didn't care. It was for a it. different time, but also n never to this Harlequin. Personally, personally, oh no, oh no. <laughs> My body is rejecting the vampirism. You just got a little what? thing. Ooh, ooh! Probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> but actually, we mm -hmm. start with Jacob receiving. Oh right, the invitation. The wedding invitation. Real dick move. A little bit. You know. Tell him in person. Tell him in person. I guess she didn't know where he. W no, he was at home. He hadn't left for um, the northern Canada yet. To heal his soul after he got the wedding invitation. Right, of course. He wouldn't have had to if she had just talked to him like a human being. I guess maybe he wasn't answering her calls. But oh, maybe. We, we did decide that um, I think he should get some tearaway pants. Yeah. You know, get the, the basketball snap pants. This one, they seem to and really... And then just don't wear it and then just free ball it. Free ball it. And the little... That's Take comfy. your shirt off dramatically. I'm so upset. Yeah. Ugh. 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 And then... Snap it off. Snap pants. Wolf. Wolf. This one, they really gave up on any sort of clothing... <laughs> continuity. You know, continuity. It was just like, wolf. Oh. Oh, and here I am, fully clothed. <laughs> they're, they're not even like putting on my shirt. Like, you know, oh, I'm just gonna let me button my pants. No, <laughs> it was like, oh, you put on pants. You buttoned your shorts. <laughs> you put on. They weren't even like pull up gym shorts. They were like fully like you buttoned that. Why? You're just gonna shred another pair. We see it every time. <laughs> they're cargo pants. Budget. Their budget for cargo <laughs> pants. I mean, I don't know how they're paying for all of this. The vampires makes more sense. They have, you know, hundreds of years of income and, of you course. know, stock, you know, <laughs> dividends. He's a doctor for a hundred years. I think he's doing fine. <laughs> they got a nice fucking house. They can afford some clothes. Right? Yeah. But the werewolves, I don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't know. And I don't know why. I don't know why. <laughs> They're not even like handmade. Maybe it was like a, you know, oh, we stitched them back together. They're, they, they something. Kind of, they, uh, Give me something. Something. They just disappear. Yeah. Not even Hulk style, like ripped up. They're gone. They're gone. But also, they do seem tattered into hundreds of pieces when they transform. You see the shreds of fabric. I just, what's happening is Good. really, I mean, like, <laughs> Yes, so we get another flashback confession from Edward. Oh, yes. They th I mean, they threw this away. It was barely in the movie. But I did enjoy, I think Robert Pattinson looks great in period garb. Oh, I also thought he looked great in the first part of this movie. <laughs> Before he stopped brushing his hair. Before the wedding, and, and then, then after, parts after the wedding. Parts after, it was all right. Yeah. He had so, gotten a haircut since the last movie. Yes. It was a thank vast, God. The sideburns are gone. Vast oh. improvement. A yes. vast improvement. Yeah. But yes, he, he's back in the, the 30s in a movie house watching Bride of Frankenstein. Yeah. I'll take this opportunity now. If you haven't seen Bride of Frankenstein, watch it. Watch Frankenstein. Mm -hmm. It's great. Watch Bride of Frankenstein. It's great. Watch Son of Frankenstein. It's pretty good. Okay. Wow. James Whale wasn't there for that one. But it, that's really rare. But it's pretty good. I liked it quite a bit. So um, go ahead and do that. Don't watch these movies. <laughs> wow. <gasps> wow. <laughs> are, are you surprised? I don't know. They're not good. I mean, they're fun. But... They're fun. They're not good. And the Frankenstein movies are like 78 minutes long. Oh, love that. They're great. Love that. As we're watching, I was like, you know, there's something that's so interesting about vampirism always feels so rapey. Oh, yeah, it's like it, penetrating. Yeah, you know, eating, you know, like there's a consumption of, mm -hmm. you know. A predatory. Exactly, all of that. And then they saw what they were doing with that, yeah. but then were like, ha-ha, he's the rapist, I'm just going to eat him. Yes, like, you know so okay, I like that. even in Edward's big confession right. about, oh my God, I'm such a terrible person, Bella, you must take me. I just realized this could kind of double for a Moira Rose costume. With a different styling and a different a wig. different wig, but like, you know, it's not too far off. It'll take a day just to rebox your mother's wigs. Oh my God, can you imagine? Not one of you is trained. But yes, so he, um, you know, oh, I'm such a terrible person, Bella. You really shouldn't marry me. I've, right. I've, I've, I've I went on a binge people. and I've killed people in the past. Well, but they were all um, terrible, terrible, awful One was a, murderers. A and, murderer or whatever. Right. All the men I killed were monsters. And so was I. He was Batman. 
Right. So this was the origin of bat of the Batman. Of the Batman. Right. I mean, basically. He was just as broody. Yep. I'm gonna say in the Batman, Bella has died. Mm. Although I think it's pre. Wait a minute, because isn't it in the 90s? Oh. I definitely watched the first 30 minutes before I turned it off. Before um, HBO turned it off. For before you. my HBO app quit. I think it was in the past. Mm. I love that. So maybe it's before he's met Bella. Mm -hmm. He was you dark know, and broody, looking living bleak in... and tragic, yeah. right? And he's had all this time to build up these funds. He's rich. Yep. yep, of course. He's obsessed with bats because guess what? He's a vampire. Yep. You know? I love it. I love that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This was like an offshoot. This was, what, what was uh, Edward up to in 94? Oh, right. he was the, yeah. the Batman. Oh, he, he moved. He was like, I've had too much of fucking Gotham City. It's too bleak. Yeah. I need a break. I'll go back maybe, to Carlisle. Maybe um, Alfred died. Yeah. You know, he was getting old. Yeah. Alfred died. I'm getting out of here. I'm going to go to Forks, Washington. And that actually makes a lot of sense because one of my biggest problems with what I watched of the Batman was mm -hmm. he was indestructible. He stood next to a bomb. What? <laughs> that exploded him across the room and blew everyone in the room across and exploded the man that was in front of him that had the bomb on him. Walked away. Who cares? I want to see his face. What are we doing here? Let's just take it off. <laughs> Not a one problem. Because of his bat suit? Because he's a vampire. Ah, of course. Oh my god, of course. I'm just putting it out there. Oh my god, of course. Bella, of course, immediately. That's it's okay. fine. I love you. I don't care. You probably saved more lives than you took. Bella, that's what I told myself. They're all human beings. I looked into their eyes as they died and I saw who I was. None of that matters to me. Why are you telling me this now? <laughs> right before we get married forever. For eternity. Why are you telling me this tonight? Did you really think this was going to change my mind about you? I just wondered if it would change your mind about yourself. She's Literally, like, just like on board no matter what. Right? And it's like, I mean... She, well, I mean, we do find that out that she wants that D. She really needs it. Oh, I can't. Please. Please. You know, sure. I just, um... She's so accepting. I mean, maybe that's lovely, but... I guess. There's not even a second thought. I know I can do this. Let me tell you why. Because you did. <laughs> you should give yourself some credit for that. Take my soul. I don't want my soul. Who fucking cares? Right. Okay. Well, yeah. Oh, you kill people? That's fine. Eh, fuck it. I mean, you know, whatever. I guess she's already wrapped her head around vampirism, so you'd probably assume that at some point in his life he's done it, or his afterlife. Right. But also just this, I'm 18. I mean, and you said that, that maybe in the books it's a little more... Ex she you know. really is like, oh my god, I'm getting married at 18, and this is insane, and like I should right. wait, and yeah. come on, Edward, and whatever. And but she like... really, she wants that D, though. Oh, I can't. Please. Please. Well, she wants the D and the Voltari, or whatever. Yes, the Volturi. Yeah. 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 You know, there's a ticking clock. Yes, of Michael course. Sheen is going to come kill you. <laughs> First, it's the spelling and the grammar. But Are Edward is insisting they get married. She's like, just turn me into, let's fuck, and then turn well, me into true. vampire. Well, that's true. He's like, no, I don't want to turn you into a vampire until we get married. And she's like, well, then let's fuck. And he's like, no, we have to be married before we can fuck. Yeah. There's a clear order. Marry, fuck, kill, reborn. The prophecy was fulfilled. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, and then they, and they comment on it at the wedding. Anna Kendrick is oh, like... Oh, my God. You think Bella's going to be showing? Just she is not pregnant. Okay. Who else gets married at 18? She is, um, dare I say, pitch perfect. I would say absolutely. <laughs> we get to meet the uh, cousins from Alaska. <laughs> Alaska. They come into play later. Oh boy. Oh, uh, because she's angry about the wolves? They weren't just introduced for no reason in this movie. Of course not. Mm. Are they working with the Valtteri? You'll have to wait to find out. <laughs> I can guess. 
Uh, yeah, so the wedding, you know, there was like a weird montage of, well, first of all, okay, there was like a million wedding speeches. Ooh. Way too many. Keep the toast limited. No one wants to hear Aunt Martha, well, Aunt Martha, I would like to hear. I, actually, I would like to hear a But complete, any other aunt, probably monologue. it's fine. We don't need to hear it. Like, it needs to be, pick the people that are good. Aunt Martha's coming? But then he gets up. Edward is like, here I am going to profess my love. And we're like, girl, you're already married. This should have been his vows. It should have been instead of traditional vows of like, Till death do us part, which made no fucking sense. <laughs> I was like, so they just are they, they gonna were, they no longer running. be married in like a month now when she right. dies? And he's already dead. Right. So, I guess de death hasn't parted them in this instance. Okay, fine. If we're getting semantic about sure, it. Sure, sure. But this did feel like they were reading lines. Right, it was weird. And I was like, why not give them their own vows to say? He could have said this speech and she could have been like, you know, the minute I saw you. I can't believe. I felt the chill up you... in my spine. So then they go off, off there? To Rio. Off to Rio? Yeah, in the car, boom, and the And private over. island where they're yeah. going to fuck. And, Love this um, uh, house hotel room whatever i wonder if you could rent this i'm sure you can as like a twilight experience I, oh boy for sure if you break the bed you buy it <laughs> break the bed you buy it that's what is in the rules yeah the yeah. house rules yeah no blood sucking no bed breaking but you know if you're into real vampire play you know i bet you people had a lot of sexy times everything in this movie looks so Fakey, fake, yeah. stupid. Yeah, the water, the Even background. Even just when they're the... skinny dipping, like everything. Yeah. Just like when the mom gets her invitation on the beach. Oh right. Like everything just looks cheap, and I think it's because they spent so much money later on the effects uh, of Bella. Oh sure. They were like, we got to parry we gotta, yeah. But everything looks so stupid. It looked really dumb. So really silly. low budget. Yeah. And also the soundtrack was really bad. The yeah. score was really bad. And the score it many times felt like a Hallmark movie or like a Disney Channel original movie. I was like, this is not... That wasn't the vibe in the other ones, even no. though it is the same composer as last... The, as the as first the one. Oh, the first one. Yeah, and Carter Burwell is very talented. He's on record as saying this was not a particularly inspirational project that he worked on. It I was mean... bad. It, was, it seemed out of place. The music cues seemed yeah. out of place. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. Especially, like, the wedding, it was like, oh, here's this weird, strong music cue, and then five seconds of a band that da, da, didn't da, match da, da, at da, all. There and was then, a cello oh. and a drum. <laughs> and the guitar. Yeah. And off we are. Okay. Huh. And here's Iron and Wine. Right. Call back to the original. That's what they danced to at the prom. Right, right, wow. That's their song. Oh my god. Oh, I need some human time. Oh, right. I'll meet you down there. And the song they were playing was like completely... <gasps> completely off. Inappropriate. Yeah. I was just like... <laughs> it was played for Ha Ha Laughs. I guess it was. But it was. she could have been awkward and silly and still charming and like, oh. She, I don't know if that's her vibe, to be honest. I don't know, like this was a weird moment for me where it was just kind of like, first of all, we've known that you've wanted this dick for, I don't know, the entire series. All of a sudden being like, I'm not ready. I haven't even thought about, you know, getting ready to get fucked by him. What are we talking about? She would have been Red D. I want to talk She's about She's on the private jet riding his dick in the fucking chair. Like, what are we talking about? I mean, I guess there's a small part of it. She's worried he's going to kill her. Well, sure. Okay, fair. <laughs> fair. But then shaving her legs is a horrible idea. Let me what if potentially nick, cut myself what if you nick and yourself? spill a bunch of blood just to get them all frenzied. I don't think so, bitch. Yeah, yeah. Terrible exactly. idea. I just remember vividly, my aunt read all these books too. Okay, great. She's a librarian. Oh, I love it. I remember her vividly being like, but wait a minute. So you're saying... He's freezing all the time, right? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so she's like, every time they're cuddling, he's freezing. That's freezing. And then right. she's like, and then they're talking about how they're kissing and his lips are freezing. And mm. then she was like, and his dick is what? It's just <gasps> like an icicle? Oh no, I didn't even think about it. The thing, is this dork made of orange rock like the rest of his body? <laughs> it's a superhero secret. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, that must really be unpleasant. 
I would think so. Um, I would at least imagine it wouldn't be great. Right, you right, know? right. Yeah. As much I don't as know, you love it. I don't know how cold. Are we talking like popsicle or are we talking like clammy? Ew. Both are bad. Both are bad. And they need the warming. Maybe they use the warming lube, you know? <laughs> but then it'd be like icy hot. It would be like icy hot. <laughs> I wanted, I just had so many questions because... Because they brought it up. You know what I mean? Like, in they True can, Blood, yeah, they, they make it very clear that, like, oh, he can fuck. Oh, I guess they never make it clear in True Blood if there's, like, you know, semen or whatever. Like, I asked in the viewing party of this, like, does he come glitter? Or, I mean, we, we find out. He's, he's glitter bombing her vagina. <laughs> um, <sighs> but, yeah, since it's there, yeah, I yeah. want to know more. I don't. I don't think I want to know more, but I am asking those questions, perhaps because I do, but then I don't. I mean, I don't, I, right. I, I don't, don't think I want the answers because I don't think there's any good ones. Right. I mean, but clearly he can get hard, I guess. Like when they're in the ocean, I couldn't tell ice, how warm the ice ocean hard, was. Ice hard, yeah. Ice hard, right, yeah. Once that sort of, uh, right. uh, once you broke the head. seal on that one, I was like, oh. Well, she seemed to really enjoy it. She did seem to really enjoy it. I mean, it was amazing for me. So, you know. And then, and then I'm, after you know, what, I'm once or about twice? How many bruises she has on yeah. her arms, you know. He didn't mean to. No, but like, what's going on downstairs? Anyway, you know, oh. they open the door. They open the door. Now, I guess, well, we talked about this a little bit in the viewing party, but like, the bruises, is that because, like, you know, when he came, he broke the bed? Is right. it like, <laughs> right. so, oh, so I don't want to. I don't want to hurt you. So I gotta. So I gotta transfer my my super force, like my this, vampire this force, like um, inertia of right, almost right. or something. Maybe she should have ridden him. Maybe that would have helped. And maybe like maybe they should have gotten kinky up. exactly. Tie, tie well, him up. he just break. He would break it. Maybe not. He could control silver, himself. Take a til silver. silver chain. Although I noticed his wedding band was silver, so I, don't I guess it could have been white gold. I don't think that's. I don't think that's a Twilight right, no. vampire situation. Get some, some you know, stainless steel handcuffs, whatever. Get sure. some heavy-duty handcuffs. Yeah. Like he could, you know. A steel frame bed. None of this wood shit. Yeah, right? He's a vampire. Yeah. You gotta know. She should say, look, this is what we're doing. Yeah. I'm gonna peg you. Yeah, because cause that, you know, at least would be cold. I guess he wouldn't notice. Put it in the freezer. Like I don't know. Washa. Oh my you know? god! It'd just be like now you know how this feels. <laughs> well, he he's cold, so. Right. What do you notice? Maybe That's put what it I'm in the microwave. Oh, really? Warm him up. Yeah. From the inside. All right, we've gone to a weird place. Anyway, they fuck a few times, and then he's like, "Oh, I bruised you. I've hurt you. I don't want to do that. I can't. We can't do this." It is like he's an abusive partner. Uh huh. But he's the one that's always trying to say, I'm like, let's right, I break up, to, yeah, I need to stop. Yeah, yeah. Like, and she's always the one that's like, no, honey, I, I don't forgive mind. you. Let's do this. Yeah. I like your cold dick enough. It's fine. <laughs> it's okay. I mean, once you break the seal, it yeah. really, it yeah, really wow. breaks the bubble on that one. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Okay. But his ejaculate is not glitter. No, we because find out. we find out two weeks later... She's late. And then she starts to pretend like she can feel and see the baby. And I was like, that seems wrong. But it but turns out. It turns out it's a very fast growing baby girl. Yes, a super vampire baby, baby that grows triple time. But is it a vampire? I thought it was a human. A human. A human, you say? Or is she a hybrid? I can't tell you. Okay, great. We have to watch the next one. We have to watch the next one. I have to imagine, since Michael Sheen is so hungry for her, that she is, you know, it's like Sookie, oh, so right? So good. Oh, you're a fairy, whatever, human hybrid. You know, how oh, exciting. But skipping ahead, I uh, mean, uh -huh. now the baby has all the protection in the world. Well, right, because she's been imprinted upon. I didn't feel like your reaction was... I didn't know what the fuck was happening. Quite, um, quite big enough. <laughs> what? For this. Well, it seemed exactly like... A replay of all of his scenes with Bella, but just with a different actress. And I was confused. Are you still confused? Well, no, I mean, they explained it afterward. Oh, he imprinted on her. I feel like your reaction to that should be bigger. Well, like I said in the viewing party, I, I felt weird because it felt like, meet your future wife. Let's meet your second wife. 
Brian, this is Hannah. <laughs> you know, and it's like, she's oh, a, 23, a, that's not too bad. She's an embryo, you yeah, know? Yeah, exactly. Oh, no, no, no. She's pregnant. See, Alicia has a serious boyfriend, and she just found out she's three months pregnant with, you guessed it, your second wife. <laughs> but she'll be the son of man. Your future wife. Isn't that weird? Yeah. Uh, but... Well, what are you gonna do? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I just remember reading this book and being so incredibly shocked, appalled, and upset that this is where this went. But it doesn't make it romantic, does it? Yes! Wait, really? Yes! They are each other's one true love. Forever I, and always. But that could be platonic, like a father and a, a daughter. Uh, spoiler alert, it's not. <gasps> okay, that's what I'm talking about. He is in love with the baby. No, that's not right. I mean, he's not going to act on it until the time 16, is right. 16, 18 years later? Yeah. Jacob really got dealt a bad hand. So he'll be 35 or 6 or whatever. There is something about the wolves age at a slower rate. Over, uh -huh. and they can not a faster rate because once again Stephanie Meyer wants her cake and she wants to eat it as well. Oh, the wolves age um, very, very slowly, so Jacob and her could be together for almost eternity. What? Yeah. Oh boy. So I was reading the book, mm -hmm. you know, and that whole flash of him mm -hmm. happens in the book, and I was just like, no, surely not. Oh my God, what has happened? No, this is terrible. Ah! Yeah. And then Edward, I don't, maybe this is in the next one, or maybe it's not in the movies, I don't remember, but Edward at some point, you know, like, reads Jacob's thoughts. Right. And is upset about it. Because it's his daughter. Yeah. That's why he was so in love with Bella, because he wasn't imprinting on Bella, he was imprinting on It her really is daughter. meet your future wife. It really is. Let's meet your second wife. <laughs> Yes, me. Oh, no. Wow. That's so fucked. I did not realize that. Yeah, I was like, why aren't you freaking out? Like, I thought it was just told. like, oh, you can love, you know, like, oh, okay. He... Wait, so you didn't realize it was Runesme that was in the flashes? Well, I figured that out later. Okay. I mean, you know, I mean, I figured that out quickly enough because it was like, well, sure, it looks sort of like Bella, but not, you know, whatever, fine. And he was staring at the fucking daughter. Like, I get it, but I was like, I'm so confused by what are we doing here? They were flash forwards. Forwards, of course. Yeah. Of course. It just seems so similar to everything that we'd already seen. It was like they'd been filming the other movies and they were like, okay, now do a shot with this girl. Right. You know? Oh, these were from the auditions for Bella. Oh, no. Oh, no. But I guess I just never, I really felt like, because she said something like, oh, it feels complete when you're both here or whatever. And I was like, yeah, they're one happy family, right? They're going to become a new family where it's like, oh, that's his little niece and he'll do anything to protect her. And he saved her from the wolves. I just went to a, a very naughty place. Oh, no. They're not related. Oh, no, not that. No, no, not that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, just um, thinking about Edward's popsicle versus Jacob's. Oh, scalding. Um, hot dog? And um, maybe if, dog. if they... <laughs> if Edward and him got together, mm. would it... So if you DP'd... Balance out. Then the hot... That's really an icy hot. That's... Real. Someone put that in Urban Dictionary. What? A hot dog? An icy hot is when a vampire and a werewolf both fuck the same person and it's hot and cold together. You brought us here. <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm so sorry. I apologize. I think you ought to get him some help. He seems to be really hung up on superhero sex organs. So, quick commercial break and we'll be back with more vampires. And, and werewolves. werewolves. Oh, lots of howling in this one. Oh, yeah. yeah. Lots of heartbreak. They had to reshoot the sex scene because oh. it was going to get an R rating. What? They you were know, too into it. 
I mean, it was, it's the MPAA. I'm sure it was like, oh no, one thrust is too many thrusts. Right, right. Um, Because this was rather tame. It was. I mean, he does break the bed, but... I didn't realize that he came, so, you know. (laughs) You were like, did it happen? When's he going to put a baby in her? Well, because that would, you you know, you assume that that's the moment that you're, like, afraid of, right? Where it's like, oh, God, he's going to lose control. Mm -hmm. At climax, yeah. Exactly. And then it was like, oh, he broke the bed. Okay. Yeah, so, no, it's not a friendly um, uncle situation. Wow. It's a, you are the love of my life. I have to wait until you are of age so we can um, Yikes. be together. Wow. Yeah. I'll just let that sink in. <laughs> I didn't realize that it was supposed to be, you know, romantic. Yes. How could he even know? Because he imprints. You just know. Eh. It just happens. I guess. But also the other girl, Leah? Yeah. Was like, oh, I just want to imprint on someone so that I can be like outside. Because she was of... still sad about Sam breaking of up with her, but she hadn't imprinted on Sam. Like you can be romantic. Like he was in love no, with. No, no, no. I understand. Oh. I understand. My point was just that, like, I felt like he had taken that conversation a little bit to heart. Mm. I never felt like it was romantic. It was just like, well, I can't have Bella, right? So at least I can save her daughter and get this over. Like then I'll be in love. I mean, well, but. No. But like love has so many different forms. Of course. But but in this instance, it they is... specifically talk about it later. Okay, okay. Yeah. I kind of wish that you hadn't told me, and I had just been even more shocked when it happened. Well, it only happens sort of in the epilogue, I think. Gotcha. It's not. Um, well, we won't spoil any more of it. I actually don't remember how much of it is talked about. In the movie. But in the book, it is explicit. Wow. So Jacob breaks the sacred <gasps> alpha bond. Yeah. And breaks up the pack. <laughs> right. And, and says, Leah Fuck and you, Sam. Seth follow along. Yes. And they've started a new pack. And then Bella is um, being eaten from the inside by her vampire baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. And that's There's really no, no, no way, way around, around that, that one. Yeah. That's just what's happening. It's... Before we started doing these, I was like, well, this one is the only true horror film. Sure. David Cronenberg almost level body horror movie. Stay focused. God. Stay focused. Keep your heart beating. No. He's suffocating. No. No. This baby, baby. is it eating is like, her. It is like, yeah. It's very Rosemary's monster, baby. you know, movie, whatever. Yeah, it is. Another fun fact. Okay. Uh, watch this movie in the theaters. Uh-huh. With my extremely pregnant cousin, <gasps> it was uncomfortable. I bet you knew what was happening in the movie. Too. She wanted to come. She oh, read okay. all the books too. Oh, okay, great. Well, so then that's less problematic. <laughs> but it was so. I'm sure it's still like, oh god. It was so visceral and dramatic. Sure. Watching her liter- skeleton skeletonize. Right. Yeah, oh my god, when she like keels over and. This was a this was a horror movie. Sing for the I mean, this sure. became crazy. Her bones are cracking. Yeah. Her rib is breaking. Yeah. She's like, you know, uh, flailing around. I guess around. it like leached all of the nutrients and calcium out of her bones or whatever. Yeah. The science, I mean, I know, what are we doing? But like, it really falls apart here. Yep. I guess they do say like, well, I don't think this was possible, but... There's a lot of books in the Cullen household, but know what to expect when you're expecting a half vampire child. No, they look on Google Images. <laughs> that was one of the, the funniest scenes I've ever had to do in my life. It's like, really? We're all like 100, 300 year old geniuses, and we just go, it's like, vampire baby, like <laughs> on Google Images. <laughs> you know, there's tales or whatever. Right. But like, there's at least, more of that to come. I'm sure. But at least then that's like an excuse of like, oh, we don't know what's happening. We don't have to have answers. Sure. It's a mystery. Sure. Although it took them way too long to be like, we should have her drink blood or give her blood transfusions. Yes, certainly. It's like Carlisle. If only there was a way to nourish her. You're a doctor, right, Carlisle? Right? Right? What? Yeah. It takes Jacob to be like... She's so pale. Like, give her some blood. (laughs) I mean, you could have IV'd it, I would think. No, she had to drink it out of the... After the styrofoam cup, yeah, boo. We do have to talk about the baby's names 
for a while. That was another moment when I was like, don't like these books anymore. Sure. It'll either be Edward Jacob or Ronaldo. What was it? I'm gonna, I would like you to keep guessing. <laughs> Renesme. Nailed it. Yeah. Renesme, do you like it? No, clearly all of us hate it, but you're dying from your baby that's eating you from the inside, so we like it. <laughs> Renesme. Re Renesme. It's great. It's great, sweetie. It's so unique, like the baby that's eating you from the inside. <laughs> Runez May. If it's a boy, EJ. Edward Jacob. Edward Jacob. So rude to Jacob. Right. Oh, you can be the middle name. But, or the name at all. Why are you... Right. What are you doing? I mean, I guess he's saved her and helped her, so... But that's such, like, um... That's Emotional what torture. Yes! What if it had been, like, Jacobina, and then he falls in love with her and imprints on her? Inappropriate. Oh, I thought you now, meant if it was a boy. Oh, no, I meant, like, if she named it Jacobina was my, like, you know. But what if she, what if it was EJ? Would he still imprint? I think the implication is that it was always going to be a girl. Oh. Just because that fate. was, you know, fate and Bella. He fell in love with Bella, and she was destined to have his imprinted one that was... Destiny. Yeah. Cool. Right, so they're like, oh, the doctor's not back, and she's giving birth immediately. Or she, like, fell and broke and... Uh, Her bones started to break. Yeah. Because the child. Yeah. <laughs> What's her face? This, the blonde sister goes to cut her open. Rosalie, Yeah, yes. but she can't control herself because of all the blood. And I was like, girl, just look it up later. I don't know. I guess they're not supposed to have any of it, right? Because that'll, it's like yeah. AA. Yes, exactly. You start all over again. Yes, you're um, on day one. Right. But yeah, it was a lot. And then Edward, we don't really see it, but you told me from the books, yes. I guess, that he has to... Bite open her bite stomach. Because open her it's stomach. the only thing that can penetrate oh. the vampire placenta or what what are they the, the the amniotic sac words like that yes his teeth are the only thing sharp enough to wow. crack it open wow love now wouldn't that help start turning into a vampire but it was too late at that point it wasn't enough venom luckily he had enough of his I venom mean, in a I weird little not, sparkly test tube. I do not recall this from the the Pulp Fiction of it all. Yes, the my mojo of it all. Oh my god, it was my mojo. <gasps> it's my venom. Ah! What's it on? Crikey! I've lost my mojo. It was absolutely my right? mojo. And uh, Jacob. Bella. Come back to me, baby. Come back to me. Come back. Jack. Don't let me let go, Jack. And um, Jacob is heartbroken. Of course. But then by the fireside, he sees Renesme. All right. And um, if you kill her, you kill me. If you kill her, you have to kill me. me. Jacob was doing so much in this movie. He really he was. He was trying his darndest. I, and you know what? I appreciated it. I appreciated it. And I actually thought a lot of it worked. And when it wasn't working, it was like, oh, he seems really nice. Like, mm -hmm. I bet you Taylor Lautner seems like a really nice guy to hang out with. Yeah. He just seems like he's a, a golden retriever. That then that is Jacob. You know? You know. So either he's a better actor and he's an asshole. Or he's not a great actor, but he does seem like a sweet guy. I think by all accounts, I remember him being... I've never heard any horror stories. Sweet guy. Yeah. Did you meet him? Uh, no. Oh, okay. But just, in, you know, when I was following the saga, I don't recall there being stories. On the socials? Right. Yeah. 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 But he was really the Ron of the group. He really... Ron Weasley. The hair... You know, it was like Danny Radcliffe. Mm -hmm. Emma Watson. Right. Ron Weasley. I used to know his name. Well, there you go. There you Sorry, have it. Sorry, Ron. Oh, so fun fact. We did okay. get one thing wrong. Oh, no, what? We were complaining about Jackson Rathbone's wig in this film. It wasn't a wig? It was the first time. It was his real hair. <gasps> Vampire hair in the Twilight universe does not grow. If that hair gets ripped out in a fight, you're just going to be, there's going to be a bald spot. And that's why, it, <laughs> oh, God, and that's why it's so annoying that their hair changes in every movie, right? Like the hair shouldn't be able to grow. Oh no, what did they do to it? 
Well, remember oh, we were like, you know what? everything probably... was so flat. We were like, what happened? All yeah. oh, their hair is so flat. Oh, because it's their hair, hair. And it's not a fucking wig. Interesting. And they were probably trying to make it look like... The wig. The wig. So they only had so much... Although, why? Just, just change it. He decided you know to get a different haircut. And he it dyed looks, it. You know what? It looks much better. He's been using Just For Men. But the theory that I love is that it's not the actors wearing the wigs. It's the Collins wearing the wigs. The reason the Collins hair is always changing because the Collins wear wigs because they're all bald because they've ripped each other's hair out. You know, this is the wig that Carlisle chose to train with. And this is the wig that Carlisle chose for the Breaking Dawn timeline. Jasper was like, it's a birthday party. I want to look really pretty. I'm definitely not going to try to kill anyone at this party. Bella has not died. No, miraculously, the venom just it needed to It took a really long time. time. We get a lot of terrible looking Absolutely. Um, magic school bus footage. It really was. If Miss Frizzle showed up, I would really enjoy that. Maybe we'll have to edit it. It was very um, inner space, too. You haven't seen that. It's great. Oh, okay, great. Martin Short. Oh. I think it's the movie Meg Ryan and Dennis Quaid met on. Wow. I want to say. Are they together? They, <laughs> they were famously together for decades until she cheated on him with Russell Crowe in that Proof of Life movie and that was her fall from grace and then oh. everyone was like fuck you and then we were like you know what maybe we calm down and it's fine wow I oh, didn't yeah, know that oh yeah that was a whole drama yeah oh, I yeah. didn't know that the guy from the new Scream movie who's also um the boys whose name oh. is something Quaid cool is their son wow did you watch the boys uh no okay yeah yeah I've seen the one scene that is I don't know if you've heard of it was intense. It was intense. Uh, it was, seemed like it was too much for it, me. It I, was. I cut, people, someone was telling me about it. And I was like, that doesn't seem nice. I don't. Oh no, it's not nice. No, I know, but I was like, that doesn't even seem like fun or. I, like, I'm sad. Someone sent it to me, and I was like, this is the most insane. I might have sent it to you. I feel bad now. I was like, I don't know what this is from, but this is the most insane thing I think I've ever seen. Like it was just like, wait, I'm sorry, what's happening now? And then what? And then he goes up, and then, it, oh, okay. Oh, yeah, but that wasn't even the thing I was talking about. <gasps> that wasn't the thing you were talking about when he does a bunch of cocaine and then shrinks down and goes up his lover's dick and then he explodes inside of him? Wait, is that what happened? You didn't see that? No! No! I was talking about something else! <laughs> <laughs> what? I started to watch The Boys and it seemed like it was too gnarly and then I read about it and it was. I mean, in the scene that I'm talking about, yeah. gay lovers are at a party doing cocaine right and he's like i want you inside me and he's like no not there and then he shrinks down and goes up his dick but then he sneezes while inside him and explodes his lover from the inside and kills him maybe it's the best show ever <laughs> i mean it, like, i mean people do love it it just seemed too heavy for me it I, seemed, it, I think it's too much for me and my psyche moment, but like um, there is something that is just i mean i'm insane sure it's about great. that scene i want you inside me your fucking dick, babe. Um, but yes, Bella's red eyes. <gasps> Credits. Oh, they love those in these. They do. They yeah. do. <gasps> Black. Wow. And oh, I did read, because, you know, then it's like directed by Bill Condon. Mm -hmm. I read somewhere that at some point, Sophia Coppola <gasps> was interested. Oh, boy. In directing this. I'm so glad that didn't happen. I don't know. Mm. It would have been. Know. It would have been. Some. It would have been some. It would have been a hard left for the series. But there's already so much that's set in stone. Oh yeah, but like. What, she can't fuck it up too much. What would that look like? You know what I mean. I don't even know. Like, what would that be? I would be interested in the pitch. Sure. Tell me what that what's looks... What's the style? What's, what's the, that look like? Yeah. I mean, I think they had to go with someone you know more what? director for hire, right? You can't do someone that's... That's what I'm saying. Like... You can't shake... The, especially at this point, you like, can't rock the boat like for the last Sophia one. what's Sofia Coppola's, you know, wolves gonna look like? I think they just have to look shitty. Like They I have to look like they looked in the last one. Otherwise, you're like, what are we... Why is this all right? different? It's a different world. Yeah. No, yeah. You, you were stuck. Like, it's a tough role. You're stuck here. Yeah, here's your, you know, CGI shit sandwich. Yep. Just go for it. You just go for it. And then we get fabulous post credit scene yeah. with Michael Sheen, who once again knows exactly every single moment of everything that he is doing perfectly. Yeah. It's from Carlisle, which is spelt with an S. Sweet Bianca. 
Uh, yeah, we find out that um, you know their drama is is aside now because they have added Bella. But or is, is it? it? They have something else I want. He's added a new member to his cover. Oh, increasing his power. A human. And I love the guy, the both of them sitting across from him are just so like, oh, uh. yes, life. <laughs> well, it looks like feud is over. Oh. Right. Or not. Over? Oh. Mm, goodness, no. Our dispute goes far beyond the fate of a mere human. They have something I want. Well, like they're so blase, and Arrow is just filled with so yeah. much theatricality uh, that I absolutely love it. And get ready because there's more of it. I want something stuff. with Michael Sheen and Alan Cumming. Oh yeah, Ro I don't know what road trip buddies. <gasps> yes, who are well because it would be in like Europe, right? Cause yeah, he's Welsh and he's Scottish. Scottish. So. Oh, oh, and throw, throw Miriam Margulies in there. Oh, yeah. Somehow, they're on some sort of dramatic, And Joanna comedic, Lumley shows up? Maybe. Maybe. They're on a dramatic, comedic road trip. So this is the trip. But with Alan Cumming and Michael Sheen. Michael Sheen. Um, yes. And sure. Miriam Margulies. Yeah. Why Good not? watch. <laughs> so do you have any predictions, thoughts, questions? I mean, I guess my prediction For is... For part two? For part two, my prediction is probably that, um, you know, it's a halfling baby. and Halfling, yes. It's going to be, uh, I guess, hence, you, you did give a little away that she lives nearly forever with Jacob, which oh, is I'm terrifying. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, and I guess that means that she can age, but also very slowly <laughs> or quickly. That was confusing, right? It only took her three months in gestation or whatever but then does she, I don't know, does someone turn her into a vampire? We'll find out. And obviously Michael Sheen will be like, I need her for my machinations. And I will kill all of you in order to have her if you won't let me have her for my machinations. And uh, the cousins from Alaska will show up. Alaska. To get revenge on Jacob for murdering their friend. Laurent. Yeah, Laurent. And, um, you know, in the end, Bella and Edward will be together in a field. And they'll be glittering together and happy. And um, Jacob apparently will be running off with their daughter, um, which is upsetting. And um, I'm glad that it just keeps sinking in. Yeah. And then I guess my real questions are what happens to poor Charlie? Oh, Charlie. He wasn't in this one that much. No, I mean, he had the wedding moments we're and going, that was sweet. We're going further and further away from the town. The home, yeah. The high school, the friends. Yeah, the wedding was it, basically. Yeah. And then never since, none, none, yeah. none of that. Yeah. Well, you'll find out! Yes, next week for Halloween. Cheers to... Charlie. I was going to say to Icy Hots. <laughs> 